guys, Mars Thinking here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and today we are going to be looking at the AGL Skinny Boo, uh, the unit who made it into Dokkan despite being in one episode of Dragon Ball Super for about five minutes, <laughs> which must really irritate all the uh, memers out there that want units like Garlic Jr. and some of the other characters from GT and stuff like that in the game, but Skinny Boo who was, who's been in the Dragon Ball franchise for literally about 5 to 10 minutes, has his own card. And uh, funnily enough, he's actually very good. So his leader skill is kind of average. Uh, AGL types, free key, 90% of stats. Maybe useful for Battlefield, but not really anything else. His super attack, the Meteor Shower Assault, does supreme damage with a medium chance to stun. Um, which is pretty straightforward. But then his passive... He gets attack and defense 150%, which, I mean, even that on its own, very solid. Then he gets three key plus an additional attack and defense 150% and a high chance of evading enemies' attacks, which is 50%, for seven turns. So for seven turns, he has 300% attack and defense, three key, and a 50% chance of dodge. So as you can see, this is a unit that I actually did not give level three dodge to. Um, I think if a unit has built-in dodge that's above like 25% or well is 25% or above um, I often don't bother to do that. Um, I gave him 11 additional 15 crit. I think this was before we knew what his awakening would do. I think I would probably give him a bit of extra additional um, because of that stun chance from his passive. But haven't leveled him up with links all that much. I've done a little bit here. I think he's going to be good for uh, extreme super battle road for super AGL because of that seven turn ability to dodge for 50% uh, and to stun. And he's on a ton of categories. Um, he's on Universe Survival Saga and Representatives of Universe 7. So once we get those, uh, once we get the reps of seven um, super battle road stage, he definitely could be useful on there. Um, and then of course he's on the typical sort of boo categories. He's also on worthy rivals, which I think is kind of funny Because I guess he did fight Goku pretty well in that one episode But I do think that's kind of weird, but we are running him on the margin power team uh, I'm using my boo tanks because I didn't pull boo, but I did bring a friend boo just to see how he would uh, Go on this showcase and then of course we got some classic supports like the kid boo and the AGL boo piccolo and then this guy is going to be one of his better link partners uh, he's a pretty solid unit as well the only link he doesn't share with him is fierce battle so if we put him here we get these five links activated which is pretty good um, but we have a lot of units all of our units that are going to be floating in the third spot have fierce battle so by putting him in the middle that gives us access to all of those links so we'll go ahead and get these rainbow orbs for you. That buffs his defense to 100k. So Skinny Boo, turn one with his 300% boost, has 259,000 defense, thanks to the 50% buff from Kid Boo as well. So even if we don't get the 50% chance to dodge, he's just not gonna take any damage from um, Dr. Jero here, so. Let's see how we get on here. Um, I think Kid, yeah, Kid Buu has a key based super attack, so we're going to end up healing up uh, Jero a little bit unless uh, Skinny Boo pops off here. But yeah, 2.5. Oh, yeah, his is key based as well. 2.5 million attack stat for Skinny Boo, turn one. And there's that chance to dodge. Um, I mean, yeah. <laughs> He's going to absorb the damage. So the problem is with Skinny Boo. For this event that we're in, I've just jumped into one of the easier Infinite Dragon Ball history stages so we can show off uh, him very quickly. Definitely going to take him into Super Power Road. I think that is his best um, place to be used because obviously in a long form event, once that seven turn thing runs out, then obviously he, he does still have 150% attack and defense, which is still very good. Um, but then that's it, that's his whole passive. He loses the key, he loses the extra buff, um, and the 50% chance to dodge. So, he is one of those units that are ideal for shorter form events, Dokkan events, um, Battlefield, and then of course, Super Battle Road. So, that's the thing, I don't mind if, uh, they've been releasing really powerful units lately, uh, with some of the power creep that we've seen, that, like Gohan for example, are really, really good in every single event. And we talked about it on the podcast, actually. I think Goresh was talking about it. But it kind of hurts your ability to team build more, like... It, well, I say hurts the ability, because I guess you could just use Gohan in everything, and if you love Gohan, then it's fine. But 
It just means that there are less options for building teams for certain events, because if you've got units that are just really good in every event, you just bring them on every team, right? So I do quite like it when teams, uh, units are really good and really well designed for like one or two of the quote unquote end game events. And yeah, I would say that Skinny Boo definitely is uh, designed to be good in Super Battle Road, Battlefield or a Dokkan Fest event that you're probably never gonna get to the seven turn counter. Because uh, I mean, we'll see obviously as we go through here, we'll probably try and get to the point where his passive is not active just to see how well he will perform in that one turn um, but obviously he's not going to be the best so I, I do think his, he's going to shine in those short form events so I will be taking him into the Extreme Super Battle Road um, I just like to do the original showcase for them on uh, one of these easier events so we'll get Bootanks here to just finish off um, 18 and then we can move on to the next turn uh, which I believe is turn... We started the showcase on turn 2 because Skinny Boo wasn't on turn 1. Uh, we're going to get the transformation into Boo Han here with Skinny Boo. Uh, sorry, Super Boo. <laughs> That's going to get confusing. I, I apologise if I uh, trip over the, my words at any point during this video since every single unit on the team is Boo in some way or another. So, um, but yeah, we've still got 230k defence with no support on the rotation. That's very good. So I believe this is turn three for Skinny Boo. So still got a couple more turns with his full passive. Uh, 230,000 defense with no support is incredibly good. Um, and then obviously this Fat Boo, as long as you pick up a bunch of rainbow orbs, he's able to tank really well. Um, doesn't do the best damage, but he does lower attack as well, which is kind of useful. And then Skinny Boo, yeah, 2.3 million basically on his attack stat. So his super attack's really weird. I don't like the whole like arm extending thing. So it's really odd to me, but there you go. So super attack, we don't get the dodge, but we have type advantage here. So with defense like that, then yeah, we're just looking at double digit damage. So very, very good. So that's just what's going to make him so powerful in those shorter events. Like 50% chance to dodge is obviously really, really good. But you have units like, for example, Gowasu and Zamasu who have a 50% chance to dodge. But in Super Battle Road, for example, if they don't dodge, they're going to take a ton of damage. So let's go ahead and bring out the uh, Super Boo here. This is my first time actually using this unit in a run since I didn't pull him. So I'm going to transform into Super Boo. So Super Boo is insanely good. Um, so obviously in these long form events, this is where you're actually going to get to see him. So what does he actually have here? He has 83k defense, which isn't super high, but he greatly raises on super attack and he has damage reduction of 50%. Um, so let's go ahead and give him a bunch of rainbow orbs so we can get that crit chance up. Um, does he have... Yeah, see, he doesn't have big bad bosses. So this, we don't really need to transform uh, Boo Tanks over here. And we are getting the support from uh, Boo Piccolo in the final slot as well. So, yeah, he doesn't take any damage here. And 3.1 million attack stat. This friend is 69%, so they have one dupe. Uh, that is a pretty good, uh, pretty good bit of damage there from the tech Super Boo. So, Skinny Boo... Passive should still be active. We have uh, Kid Boo on the rotation. Uh, we'll go ahead and put him in slot one, even though we're not going to get Fierce Battle now. But I want to see if we can get some of these dodges coming in through for him here. And then, yeah, we'll build up the Dokkan attack so we can just finish off uh, 16 next turn. So there you go. Dodge both the initial attacks. 2.3 on the attack stat, obviously we lost out on Fierce Battle, but still a very respectable attack stat. And then yeah, look at that, so he dodged every single attack, did a pretty darn good amount of damage, and uh, yeah, took zero damage in return, so very, very good. I just really want to see now, when this passive runs out, what are we going to be looking at, because uh, obviously the problem with the longer form events is you get further and further into the event, the enemies start doing more and more damage. So, obviously we don't want to uh, 
be in a position where his defense is going to be so low that we're now taking a ton of damage. But we'll find out. I mean, if he gets us killed in the turn where his passive runs out, I'm still going to keep it in the video because it just kind of highlights the point that um, he's only really designed for the shorter form events because I'll have to see what his defense is going to be. Because, I mean, he could be okay. Um, his defense, I don't think, is going to be low enough that he'll be taking, like, 100k from normal attacks, but... I guess we'll find out. Now, we're going to get the Dokon attack here with the uh, Super Boo. He should probably take out 16 even if we don't get a crit here. Well, never mind. Um, I guess Boo Tanks can uh, just come in here with the uh, type. I guess we did have type disadvantage, so Boo Tanks can uh, finish him off and we move on to the first cell phase. Yeah, first one cell. Um, and we are on turn 10. So, okay, yeah, so we've lost his passive because we have support on the rotation, but we only have 190,000 defense. 173 if we move into there. Wait, so what link do they have? Is it Brainiacs? Oh, wow, so between those two, they actually get all of his links. Oh, okay, so it is only really Brainiacs and Fierce Battle, but by putting them there, he gets every single one of his links activated. So this will be an interesting turn because we now don't have his passive. So he's not going to be able to dodge. Um, he doesn't have that extra attack and defense. But he does have all of his links active this turn. So let's see how much damage he's going to take from first form cell. Neutral typing. Um, so at least we don't have to worry about type disadvantage in case he does super attack. Um, we did lower his attack as well actually. So 1.7 on his attack stat is not terrible when you consider that he is like an unfeatured pool SSR. Um... And then he still took double digit damage from the normal attacks. We did lower attack, but... And then the super did 50k. I mean, honestly, that's really not that bad. I mean, we do have a support unit on the rotation. We did lower attack, but I would say that's actually not bad at all for uh, Skinny Boo. And of course, you've got to remember that, you know, the longer form events, we're getting closer to the end of the event. So, I mean, if he became a huge liability that was taking like, you know, 80k from normal attacks, it would make it a lot more difficult because if that passive runs out like halfway through the run, then you're going to be in trouble for that second half. But obviously we are kind of flying through. I mean, this team is very powerful in general. Um, and of course, having this friend, Tech Boo, he's been uh, going off a little bit. I mean, they're not the perfect link partners, but they do share a ton of links. Having that Boo transformed and then this uh, LR Boo on the same rotation is uh, quite a powerful turn indeed so this will be the true test for skinny boo uh, no support unit um, type disadvantage so his defense is 143 so if we put you there yeah he's only losing out on fierce battle so i'm not too worried about his attack i'm honestly more worried about him getting killed so skinny uh, fat boo has less defense at the moment but he gets more defense with um the orbs that he picks up. Although, looking at the ability thing at the top, um, Cell can still be attack lowered. So, actually, let's go ahead and go first with Fat Boo, lower his attack, and then we'll get Skinny Boo to go next. So, he now does at least have Fierce Battle active. Um, and we'll see what happens. If we die, we die. But this will probably be the final turn. So, let's see how Skinny Boo can do. This is definitely the most dangerous turn in this run for him, because he's lost his passive. We have type disadvantage. We've lowered attack, so we're not in as much danger, but we'll see. So just shy of 1.5 million attack stat with no support unit on the rotation. Ooh, we're going to take a super. Okay, this is going to do a lot, unfortunately. Yeah, 100, 196. I mean, that's not actually terrible. And then the normal attacks, we still took double digits. So, I mean, that is actually pretty good. Bear in mind, of course, he has been attack lowered once, but... I mean, honestly, taking double digits from the normal attacks, I would say, is still very impressive. So let me know what you guys think down below of the Skinny Boo. Obviously, like I say, he's designed for short form events. We're going to take him into Super Battle Road. Um, I don't know if I'll put that video up the same day this one goes up, but I'll probably record that straight after this. I'm very interested to see how well he's going to perform in that mode. So let me know what you guys think of him down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. 
Check out the link to my Discord in the description below. Feel free to join in the fun down there. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.